Thank you very much. I'm here representing uh, the Mayor of Randwick City, Councillor Lindsay Shuri, who is um, engaged in another activity tonight. Randwick Mayors are always very busy. I would first like to acknowledge that we are here today, or tonight, on the land of the um, Gadigal people and the Bidjigal people of the Darawal Nation. I pay my respects to the Elders past and present and acknowledge the presence of any Aboriginal inhabitants of this area. Ah, architecture on show. Uh, look, architecture may be the, what saves the political future of Ramwick City Council. You'd probably be aware of the massive turmoil that's happening along Anzac Parade at the moment. It's light rail. I played a role in pushing for it. It's arrived. It's brought with it a lot of contention. It's brought with it uh, the fear of uh, more development and Ramwick City Council has responded by putting on, uh, a couple of years ago now, a um, international competition to get the best urban design for the corridor of Anzac Parade between the Kensington and Kingsford Town centres. Uh, we're using that to put forward a draft planning policy. Uh, we're hoping that the New South Wales government will take it up. If it does, it will be a very successful uh, attempt by a local council to work with the state government authority to actually plan and bring to bear the architectural experts of the urban planners of Australia. Uh, I have received an email last night that suggests that the government has accepted our design and will allow us to go and put it on exhibition as a draft local environmental plan. That's a term you'll all be familiar with. Um, expect more contention. Um, it's coming just on the eve of a state election. Oh, beautiful. Uh, I can't wait for the debate, but I'll be out there selling the um, merits of the council's design, defending it, and urging that it not be undermined. Uh, look, as I understand it, the um, talk tonight, uh, the second, I believe, of the architecture on show collaborations between Ramwick City Council and the Australian Institute of Architects is about evolution in architecture. Tonight's focus, as I said, is on the evolution of the UNSW campus and the biomedical precinct. Uh, I'm really proud to be here because I, I do feel that my time on Ramwick City Council has seen the evolution of a particular aspect of campus life, which is the provision of public transport in improvements by the uh, arrival of the light rail. So I do feel a certain fondness for this campus. I would like to thank our speakers for this evening for taking time out of their very busy schedules to talk about their designs. There is Mr James Coleman, who worked on the original UNS master plan. Back in 1957 and 1958, he will provide a quick background context of the development of the UNSW campus. Andrew Nemo is the New South Wales Chapter President of the Australian Institute of Architecture and the Director of Lars Nemo Architects. He will focus on the development of the UNSW campus and will discuss in detail the two buildings designed by his firm in association with Wilson Architects, the Lowy Cancer Research Centre and the Wallace Firth Expansion. Andrew has presided over these talks for the past six years. It is a great pleasure again to be involved in it. I would also like to thank uh, John Norman of Woods Baggett, who will discuss the design development of the second phase of the biomedical precinct. John will be focusing on this very building, the Biological Sciences Building. He will look at how this building has transformed the streetscape. I would also like to extend my gratitude to our MC tonight, a friend of mine, Professor Sue Holliday from Planning Practice at UNSW, who will also be facilitating our question and answer. So throw all the hard ones at her, not at me. I encourage you to participate in discussions during the question and answer session that will follow. Thank you for coming.